back to the, uh, the Dark Veil Brewing channel. Um, thanks for joining me again. Um, yeah, today's another beer tasting video on a, a, another mini keg. I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, just another note on the, the last video did about the, the keg of uh, Hefweizen. That was lovely. As that got on and gone on and gone on, it tasted better and better and better. So yeah, that was a good, that was a good one to try. So if you do see it, go and grab one. Um, but today's video is going to be on uh, a keg of uh, Warsteiner. So that's the second keg I bought. Um, oh, I'd be looking forward to trying it. So I don't have the keg to show you, but I'll, I'll put a picture up. Um, I was that excited. I just took the straight to the beer monster, got it all chilled down, and it's currently sat at eight degrees, which is perfect. So um, without any more waffle, um, we'll get a beer poured. Okay, here we go. We're sat at eight degrees, um, which is nice. So I've wet the glass already just with a little bit of foam. And here we go. Oh, it's a nice pour. So that's very, very, well, that, yeah, that's pouring just like the, uh, the half Weissen did. Um, yeah, very, very, very foamy, very lively. Uh, I put no gas in there at all. Um, that is all off um, the pressure inside the keg. But yeah. 65 million finger white head on it. Loads of pressure in the keg. Nice and chilled, nice and bubbly. Whoa. There's a foam, foam nado going on there then. So yeah, we'll let that settle and then we'll get into the, the, the tasting of it. So we have a, a five litre keg from Warsteiner. Uh, Warsteiner is a, a, a premium uh, German Pilsner. Uh, they do very, very uh, different bottles of beer and kegs of beer. They, they do, uh, I think they do a winter one, they do a, a hoppy one, a fresh one. Uh, I can't remember what it was to do, but this, this particular keg is a, um, a, a premium, uh, premium keg. Um, I got it in home bargains for, uh, I think it was 15 pounds. Uh, 15 pounds for five litres of cream German beer. Yeah, you can't grumble, um, especially if it's a nice one. Um, so there it is, poured in the glass. It's been there for about two or three minutes now, and the head really hasn't dissipated at all. We've got a bit more beer in the glass. Uh, we've got a three finger white head on it. Um, look at that, that is clean. That is crisp, clean, clear. Clinical, as you can see. I can't really smell much because of the head so thick, but what I get from it is quite yeasty, quite bready. I like that word bready because that's a perfect description. Because I do make bread at home, and whenever you put the, the, the yeast in the, in the water and the sugar, mix all of that, you do get that bready smell from it. But that yeasty smell, and that's exactly what you get here. So it's, yeah, it's really, really good. Um, comes in at 4.8%, which is nice, which is a good sessionable beer, I think. Um, you can certainly spend a, quite a, a nice afternoon on that uh, without too much of a headache. Um, yeah, and like I say, it looks good, really good in the glass. So just make sure it's still recording. Yes, we are, because it did switch off earlier. Um, so without further ado, let's have, a, let's have a taste of it. Cheers, everyone. That is lovely. That is ex exactly what I'd expect from a German Pilsner. That is beautiful. That is crisp. Crisp, clean. A light barley and multi taste to it. A nice little dry aftertaste of the hops as well. 
Oh, that is lush. I can imagine now eating a nice big bowl of like salt, ready salty crisps and having a glass of this. Oh, a big pint glass of this next to me. Oh, they just look at marriage made in heaven. Um, that, guys, is absolutely stunning. Uh, eight degrees on the machine, so I, I think it's nice. It's chilled enough, that is. For me, that's perfect. Oh, that's lovely. That is really, really nice. A lot nicer than the half white I had. A lot nicer. Um, I can really, really taste the difference in this one. Oh, that's lush. Good levels of carbonation. Still got the bubbles rolling up the glass. You still got good head retention on there. And you've got quite a nice lacing on the glass as well from the um, from the head. So it laces the glass nicely. And that's when you know you've got a good beer when it laces the glass like that. That, to me, is perfect. I, I love it. Um, and I'd definitely get another couple of kegs of that, 100%. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. £15, that is a winner. Um, yeah, guys, I can't recommend that enough. So if you find yourself in home bargains, um, and you see a keg of this on the shelf, pick one up. You will be disappointed. That is that is beautiful. I'm just going to top it up. I'm just going to put a little bit of gas in the machine, top it up, just to see what it's like. Excuse the shoulders. Bear with me. So I've just got the gas on the old beer monster now. We're still at eight degrees. Just topping that up. There we go. Yeah, that's just nice. Look at that. So it's a nice, a nice light amber or straw coloured beer. And like I said, there's nothing floating in that. That is proper. That is proper. Oh. Well, that's it for me. That's another tasting video done. Um, can't recommend this enough. 10 out of 10 for me, this one. It's, it's just absolutely lovely. It's exactly what I expected it to be like. Um, it's exactly what I, if someone put a pills in front of me, that's what I want it to taste like. That's absolutely spot on. Um, got to see you guys. Um, wherever you are, um, good afternoon, good morning, good day. Um, enjoy the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and I'll see you on the next review. Um, all the best. Applying for a job there with their chief beer taster. <laughs> right, I'm out. Wheat beer. Um, yeah, it was nice and it got better. I didn't I didn't put this on the <laughs>